Hi, who are you and what do you do? Hi, I'm Drew Hillier. I'm an attorney and I represent medical device companies in litigation. What kind of litigation? We do patent litigation and we uh, appear in federal courts around the country. I don't want to appear against you in a federal court. What would I have done bad There's that you so, came and got me there for? There are so many bad things you could have done. Like? We couldn't get you. Well, a good example is patent infringement. If you're a company, you've developed your IP, and somebody else is, uh, is doing what they shouldn't be doing, we can come and help you with that situation. Also, you might be, I uh, was just talking to Deb about this, you might be trying to sell your company, you might be hit with a patent infringement suit, and we can step in too to help make that go away so that your sale can go through. I have heard of stories where a deal came down to the IP, it wasn't adequately protection and the whole thing got scuttled, but had they but talked to you first, that could have been avoided. We could have helped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me in general, I know it's a very much a case-by-case -case situation, but in general, do you advise patent holders to go as narrow as possible or a little broader that might, you know, uh, dissipate the, the intensity of, of their protection? I'm out of my element, of course, but please help me understand. Well, that's a, that's a great question, and it depends on what the patent landscape looks like because if there's a lot of prior art out there that might be invalidating, you don't necessarily want a broad claim because that's going to make it easier for somebody like me to appear in federal court and kick your patent out. Uh, if you go with a narrower claim, it's going to be harder for somebody or for a court to decide that your patent's invalid. When is the ideal time to file? Because as I understand it, I'm no lawyer. As soon as you do, that's public information, and I might be giving away a semblance of my trade secret, and that's not something I want to be doing. So the so I'm a litigator. I don't apply. I don't help you apply for patents. I will help. I can help after you have the patent. Once your company is in business and you run into problems with other competitors, um, but we sick you after them. That's right. You can sick. Don't me mess after with them. Drew. And but the question about when you disclose. I mean, you you don't disclose until you filed your application. I mean, that's one thing This is actually my first point here. I mean, you can, th you know, we all know you have to keep your patent, uh, patentable information secret before you apply for your patent. But even a confidential sale could lead to your patent being held invalid. So it's very important that you have all of your ducks in a row, talk to a patent, a patent attorney before you even think about selling your product. I'm curious to know how common is patent infringement? I mean, are you I busy more, all the time it's more, it's getting more, people? It, yes, yeah, I think it's more common than you would think. The question you have to ask is when is it worth it to do anything about it? And when is that? You have to do a cost-benefit analysis, analysis and think about how, how is it affecting your competitive position? How, what's the life of your patent? How many years do you have left on it? Is there a business solution? Th those are all things that you want to think about. I could go on. I won't, but I am curious to know about the strategy where a major company with a lot of money goes and infringes on a small nobody player who simply doesn't have the money to afford however long this litigation is going to last. Is that kind of bad spirited play very much part of our landscape or is that some movie that I watched? You know, that, that, that can happen, um, but you also have to remember if you have a company like that who is trying to, who knows the patent landscape, is infringing your patent, that they might be subject to treble damages. That means you get three times the amount of whatever you would be owed normally for willful patent infringement. So that might change the equation for you in terms of thinking about whether bringing suit is worth it. Okay, if I have any problems, I know who to call. Drew, happy Thank to you help. very much. Thank you.